we're going to control WDMX receivers with the Luminaire 3 app. First, we need a standard wireless access point. For this video, we will be using a Ubiquiti Unify AC Lite, a dual band access point. The main advantages of having a setup over Wi Fi instead of Bluetooth are a longer range than Bluetooth for your control devices, dual band connection allowing you to escape interference from other transmitters by connecting your iPad on 5 GHz and maintaining the wireless DMX on 2.4 GHz or vice versa. Allows you to connect multiple devices like several iPads on the same network. There is no need for DMX mesh systems due to a centralized control network. First, let's configure the access point. Connect an Ethernet cable from your PC to the Ubiquiti access point. The access point will come configured with a dynamic IP address out of the box. We need to change that to an Artnet IP class. Open Windows Settings. Go to the Network and Sharing Center and click in your local Ethernet connection. Go to Properties. Click IPv4 and set the IP address to 192.168.1.25 and set the subnet mask as shown. You need to download the Unify software to access the settings of the AP. Once in, click in Devices on the left-hand side and hit the AP settings. If you go to Config, you can see that this particular device allows you to enter its radio transmissions properties, like changing the radio channels for 2.4 or for 5 GHz. Go to Network and change from using DHCP to Static IP. You can see here we can change the access point's IP address. For the purposes of this video, we want to change the IP address to 2.0.0.1 and the subnet mask to 255.0.0.0. After you have entered the new IP address, click Q Changes and hit Apply. It may take a short minute for the access points to reset and apply the necessary changes. Connect an Ethernet cable from your PC to the WDMX box. We need to set the Artnet properties with the WDMX browser so that the Pro Box is in a two-point class. Here, we have set the Pro Box to 2.0.0.20. Connect the access points directly to the Pro Box. Then, connect the iPads to the Ubiquiti wireless network we have just set up. Click the network in the iPad Wi-Fi settings. Then, click the blue information icon. Change the configure IP to manual. We need to give the iPad a unique IP address. We have set 2.0.0.5 and the same subnet mask as before. Type in the IP address of the access points. In this case, it's 2.0.0.1. Finally, type in the IP address of the DNS server. You can see the configuration has been successful when the Wi-Fi strength icon turns to full. Open the Luminaire 3 app, hit the status button and click Artnet. If this icon shows green, then your Wi-Fi connection has been successful. Hit the node settings and disable broadcasts. You need to type in the IP address of the Pro Box. In this case, we type in 2.0.0.20 as configured in the WDMX browser. Once you have typed in the correct IP address, you will see the data LED on the Pro Box turning on. You are now successfully sending DMX data from your iPad. Here's a summary of our steps and IP addresses.
For more information, please visit wirelessdmx.com.